Oh, I forgot to mention in the video, I'm so dumb, I can't believe I forgot this. I'm currently doing a Roblox card gift card giveaway. What are these called? Robux gift card? Roblox gift card? Anyway, I'm doing a giveaway for one of those. I'm sorry I mentioned that this is the future. He's coming back and realizing I, I didn't fix it and I'm coming back. Anyway, first link in the description is uh, the giveaway link, so make sure you go and check that out. Okay, enjoy the video. What's up guys, it's Asun Hacked here and welcome to a brand new Roblox video today. I am very excited because we are playing a Roblox game I have been putting so much time into recently. Like you guys don't even understand how much I have been playing this game for the past week. Oh my days. We are playing Tree Planting Simulator. So here we are in Tree Planting Simulator. I'm standing here with my YouTuber tree and the, uh, the default starting tree and a different tree over- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold- Wait. Wait, when did this one appear? I... Can I pick this up? This is- I'm very confused. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Sorry. Um, if you guys don't know Tree Planting Simulator, it is a game by um, Terabright, um, who are an absolutely amazing uh, set of YouTubers. Sorry, I'm just like so distracted by this tree. Like, what happened there? Anyway, um, they are raising money uh, in order to help uh, the Arbor Day Foundation and Mr. Beast on his goal to plant 20 million trees. So, 25% of the game's profits actually are donated to charity uh, to help plant trees, which is absolutely awesome. So, if uh, you haven't tried out this game of Tree Planting Simulator yet, make sure you go and do that. Now, okay, let me explain why I'm confused about this tree. So I planted these two trees. You can see below these trees here, there's dirt under these trees. And how this game works is basically, if you haven't seen it, uh, you have a shovel and you can dig up these white boxes and you can plant your own trees there, right? This still has a white box underneath the tree, but I can't dig it. I'm so confused. I don't know how this tree got here. Um, like if we look in my inventory, I've got no other trees in there. The last tree I planted, as you can see down here, was the YouTuber tree. I'm very confused right now. Also, I, I, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I've been playing this game for the past week, let's say, but like every single day for multiple hours uh, for the past week. I am a little bit obsessed with this game uh, to the point where I think I can now rebirth again for the, as it says in the top right hand corner, if you can read that, for the 49th time I can now rebirth. So I guess let's go ahead and rebirth. I don't know. I don't know what's with this tree. Actually, I don't have enough money yet. Hold on. Let's go and sell real quick. There we go. Now we definitely have enough money to rebirth. Is this tree going to stay here when I rebirth? Was that the daily reward or like... No, it was a mulberry tree. That's not a mulberry. I don't know what's going on. All right. I'm just going to stop being confused. I'm going to rebirth. Hopefully that tree is going to disappear. Stop confusing me and we can actually get on with the video. So I haven't decided what I'm doing in today's video yet. I kind of thought maybe I can go and buy every single tree in the game or I can buy every single backpack in the game or all the shovels or uh, I, I really don't know what I want to do. But something I definitely want to do because now I have 382 rebirth coins. Uh, also, real quick, I'm just going to plant because you start with two trees, right? Okay, that tree isn't there. The weird tree over here isn't here. But also, I have this robot which is absolutely amazing. At the moment, it has 50 inventory space. And this little robot guy runs back and forth between my trees and collects the uh, collects the seeds for me, which is absolutely awesome. I love that. Anyway, yes, um, I am a YouTube partner uh, with this game, which is absolutely awesome. I don't know why they accepted me. I'm such a bad YouTuber, but thank you. Um, so I have this awesome YouTuber tree here, um, which is actually really OP, but shh, don't tell them. Don't tell him, but I don't know why, but it's super OP. Anyway, uh, let's go and explore the tree birth area. So I'm doing an awful, an awful, awful job at explaining how this game works. Basically, you grow these trees, they drop these seeds, you sell the seeds, and then you can buy uh, better trees, you can buy better backpacks, all that kind of stuff. So here you can go through and you unlock different trees as you like. If I buy this olive tree now, I don't have any money. I can't buy the olive tree. Hold on. <laughs> Let me really quickly just sell some of those so I can buy the olive tree. 
Here, if I buy the olive tree, then I unlock the next tree and I can keep going. And then as you can see, each of the trees have different stats and it goes up and up with better trees, giving you more money for all of the season stuff. Anyway, this is the uh, tree birth. Also, love the pun there. It's the rebirth area and you get to go in this absolutely awesome, like, sky bus and it takes you on a mad adventure to the top of this super weird tree thing with a face. I don't know what's going on. There's so much random stuff in this game, but I love it. Seriously. I can't explain to you how much I have been playing this in the past week. Um, I started on a stream, I think it's five days ago, was the first time I had ever played this game uh, on a stream. And then since then, I have rebirthed I'm about to hit 50 rebirths. I've been playing this game so much. Anyway, up here, you can go and buy vacuums. So if we go over to the vacuum area, basically what these vacuums do is it helps you to pick up seeds around you. So if you don't have a vacuum, you have to basically interact with all of the seeds that are on the ground from your trees. You have to walk over them. If you have vacuums, they vacuum up the seeds from around you. So I've already gone through. I thought these were really good. So I've bought the top vacuum, which is 10. I think these are 10 of the... Like how Roblox measures their uh, measures their system, so it's not blocks like Minecraft. It's what are they called? I can't remember what it's called. I don't remember. I don't remember. Someone will know in the comments. Let let me know down in the comments what it is. But anyway, I bought the best vacuum because these are absolutely amazing. I'll explain to you why. Probably in this video, if not, if I forget, let me know in the comments and we can do that. But as you saw, I had one of the robots down already helping me. So, is this a different robot or? Huh. I don't know if this is a different robot or if it replaces my other robot, if it's an upgrade. Let's buy it anyway. I don't know what else I'm spending my rebirth tokens on. And the next one is 500 rebirth tokens. Okay, so I've rebirthed 49 times in this game. And I don't think in total I have had 500 rebirths. So you gotta really grind to try and get this final robot. Obviously, I want to do it. I definitely want to go and check out what the final robot is. But goodness... That's a lot of grinding. Uh, if you peeps want to see me try and grind for that, uh, for the last robot, let me know. Oh, no, that just went. It's okay. You can teleport down from here. Um, also, as you saw, there were some covered up stuff in there. They are still very much developing this game and adding new stuff to the tree birth area. So I can't wait to see uh, what else there is going to be. Oh, is this? Okay, so we're upgraded. I think. Hold on. So do you still have battery? Because on my last robot, what you had to do was you had to click the gear at the back to charge him up. This one doesn't look like it has battery. I wonder if this runs forever now and it has 250 space instead of the 50 space that my other robot had. So that's really, really cool. Okay. Um. So yes, right now you can see there's this seed on the ground over here. If I walk just slightly close to it, the vacuum I have, the fully powered up vacuum, uh, just picks them all up. Like all of these seeds over here, at the moment they're getting picked up by my uh, <laughs> by my robot here. That's all right. You can pick those up and I will collect those from you. Cool, cool. Um, but yes, the seeds on the vacuum are super OP. So what I have done, I don't know if this is allowed or not, but I have AFK'd standing here between my trees because with the maximum backpack standing here, you basically pick up everything from the YouTuber tree, every, everything from this other tree as well. And so you can kind of just stand here AFKing and collect all of these seeds. And so now I have 91 seeds. There's not too many at the moment, but let's go and sell and see what other... Uh, see what other trees we can buy, yeah? I think I already bought some, but let's see. We have 16k. I also have some game passes, and uh, I have the infinite backpack and that kind of stuff. So I have spent some Robux on this game. So you definitely do not start out as OP as I am right now. have played this game quite a bit, but yes, I also have 50 rebirths, which boosts me even more. Let's just buy some trees. Can I buy this one? Yes, I can, and that's the last one. My next tree is 10k. All right, so let's go across over here. Back to my plot, and let's plant some more of these trees so we can have a nice looking area. I need to dig up first, so let's go digging up all of this, all of this. Uh, there are still some bugs in the moment uh, at the moment in the game. As you saw at the beginning of the video, that extra tree, I have no idea how that got there because I did not plant that tree. See, all of these, I have to do this, and now I can plant a tree. I can't plant a tree on these, so I have no idea how we had a tree on a white square before. Uh, very, very confusing, uh, but that's okay. I might as well just dig all of the ones in this area. Honestly, we have this entire area. You can expand your plot all the way back to this chest back there, which is how you get rebirth tokens, and then you can rebirth from there. I've never planted anything apart from these first three rows, and I've rebirthed 50 times. Like, I don't know when you would use that. I guess just if you wanted to have a whole bunch of different uh, trees going all the way back, but 
there's not that many trees in the entire game, so I really don't know. Anyway, we've got all these trees in our inventory, so let's go through and plant each of these. Each of them have a sapling time here. As you can see, it's a sapling for the next, you know, 45 seconds for this one, 18 seconds from this one, and then it turns into a tree, and then the tree has a growing time, and once it's finished the growth time, then it will start to drop seeds for you. So we'll see that very shortly. See this sapling over here with this six seconds left? Let's see, this is four seconds left, three seconds left, two seconds, one second, and now it's gone into an actual miniature tree, and now this tree will grow for the next two minutes, and then after those two minutes, it will actually start dropping some seeds from uh, for us, and we can start selling those as well. So let's plant all of these trees that I just bought. Good, good. Okay, and uh, I think this is how it works. Each of the trees drop a different size seed, and the bigger the seed is, the more money it's worth. Uh, but then it gets to a point, I think it's about the size of the YouTuber tree size seeds, like these seeds over here, these big orange ones. I think that's about as big as the seeds get, uh, but then the other trees definitely, definitely have a lot more worth than the YouTuber ones. The YouTuber ones are a really OP starting tree, but then I've probably already bought trees now that are worth more than the YouTuber tree seeds. So it's really good to help you get started, especially if you're making content like this. If I didn't have the YouTuber tree, it would have taken me a lot, a lot longer to get this video started, to get all of these trees. Um, but yeah, absolutely awesome. By the way, I'm loving this game. As I said, I've played this for many many hours over the last week over the last it's been five days since i played this and i've played it so frequently i've what i've now got an average of 10 rebirths a day that is how much i have played this game absolutely insane insanity anyway vacuum absolute absolutely get the vacuum i think it is better to have the vacuum than it is to have the robot if uh, if you're wanting to actually play the game see i like to play the game so i can run back and forth through my uh through my lines of trees just like this See, this is the tree we had last time. I'm so confused. Anyway, I like to run back and forth. So normally, if you don't have a vacuum, you have to run back and forth and kind of dodge back and forth to try and pick up all of the seeds. But once you have the vacuums, you can just do what I do and basically run laps through your trees back and forth and it will pick up all of the seeds once you have the highest tier vacuum. So you don't have to worry about actually dodging, like where are the seeds, all that kind of stuff. I can just run back and forth. And look at that. I've already got 475 seeds in my inventory. It is crazy how quick this is and uh how much easier your life gets once you've got the vacuum so we got another 500 seeds let's go and sell these now real quick there's the selling motorbikes these motorbikes remind me of the motorbikes from jack and daxter by the way shout out if anyone knows jack and daxter um i don't think it was the original game maybe it was like jack 3 might have had those, but uh, yeah, that was absolutely a thing from my childhood. Anyway, let's go and buy some more of these trees now that we can afford them. There we go, and we're back to 800, so I can go and plant these again. I could always press 2 sell uh, to get teleported back closer to my plot if the tree uh, selling place was a bit further away, but it's actually not that far away, so it's not too bad just to do the teleport, or just to run like I have been doing. Anyway, let's plant these trees. There we go, got a few more trees. Plant all of those ones. I do like to keep them all pretty close together, like this. And then I'll go across to the other side over here, and then I'll plant some more. There we go. Plant that one there. Cool. And, oh, do I have enough money to, to extend my plot? No, it's like 3k to extend now. Yeah, it is. I really wish uh, that the devs made it so your camera didn't collide with the trees. Because while I run through like this, and my camera is like hitting the trees like just like that and making it super close, it's really jarring. Having the camera continually zoom in and out, all like that. Um, so I kind of wish that didn't happen, but I don't know if they can do that without uh, making the trees non-collidable. And I know they don't want to do that, but I don't know. I'm not a Roblox dad. I, I have no idea how to do any of this. We'll keep collecting from you as well. There we go. Thank you. Back to 340. And so now some of my bigger trees have grown. I'm going to be getting more and more money for selling each of these, which is really, really useful. Uh, so maybe... I might start uh, expanding my plot, but I don't know if I want to because I think at the moment the robots don't look where your trees are. They just go out through your entire field. So if I now expanded my field all the way to back here, my robot would go all the way to the chest and then all the way back here. At the moment, he stops at the fence and then comes back. So maybe I don't want to expand just yet, but I'll probably expand my area soon. Not that I need it for trees, but just because that's how you rebirth in this game. 
If you didn't know how to rebirth, you have to expand your plot by clicking this sign and basically expand it all the way to the end. Grab this chest back here. Uh, that will give you the rebirth tokens and then you can rebirth and go and buy vacuums because they're the best and then go and buy robots and all that lovely kind of stuff. Okay, so we've got another 600 already. Uh, I do have the game passes where I do get double seeds, to be fair. So I am a little bit more OP because of that. So there we go, seven. Let's go to... When we get a thousand seeds, I think I'll sell, we'll see how much money we have and we'll see if I want to expand my plot or if I want to um, buy more trees or that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're already at 800. This won't take long at all, trust me. It does not take long at all for me to run through here. Let's collect those. There we go. Okay. If you have the double seed game pass like I do, I wonder if it is actually good to have a robot because I don't think the robot doubles, right? So hold on, let's, let's test that right now. The robot has one seed, in, two seeds in it. I have 934. No, that goes 936. Okay, so the robot doesn't actually work with your double seed. Huh. I assume it still works with the double seed selling, but picking up double seeds, the robot doesn't work in that. I wonder if the devs are going to add that, if they didn't realize that was a thing. Anyway, we're over a thousand seeds. Um, Let's go sell up here. Oh, no, I just missed the bike. Okay, chase it, chase it, chase it. What would that give? That gave us 678k. All right, let's see. Oh, do I want to buy trees? See, I don't know. If you guys want to see me make a video buying every single tree, that actually won't be too hard. I'm almost there already in this video. Normally, I buy this one and I buy this one and then that's all I do uh, because that normally gives me enough money from those trees to finish, to basically go and rebirth. So let's go and plant these two trees at the end right here. We go plant that one and we'll plant this one as well. And then we have 473,000 coins still. So I'm going to use some of this to expand my plot back a little bit. There we go. We keep pushing this back and back. So yes, if you do want to plant a lot more trees, more than I do, I still don't even use these three on each end here. Uh, if you want to plant more than I do, you definitely have space in this game. But I, I kind of think it's not worth it. All right, so we got 324k until we can get back to the chest over there. So that's really not that much. If you think we just collected 1,000 and they gave us like 600k, and now we're going to have better trees that are worth more as well, it's not going to take us long to rebirth at all. So maybe I'll do one full playthrough, and I'll do a rebirth, and then I'll end the video. Maybe that's what I'll do. Because I, I really did not have a plan for this video at all. So that's maybe a good plan, is I'll just go through, show you kind of how I play the game, um, what upgrades I think are worth it. So definitely, I think the vacuums are really worth it if you're an active player. If you're a player who plays Roblox or plays these kind of games more AFK, maybe the robots are for you. But if you're an active player that is happy running through the trees just like I am right now, uh, definitely, definitely suggest going for the vacuums over the robots with your rebirth tokens. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's what I did. I am standing by it because now I have the second uh, robot and I have the second vacuum. 100% seeing more benefits from having the second vacuum over the second robot. Um, see, now my robot's all the way over there. Like I said, he will travel all the way through your field. So he is all the way at the other end of the field right now. Nowhere near my trees, nowhere near my seas or anything. I don't know. Again, this is a super, like new game so it doesn't have all of the features in it they're still adding more stuff they're still working at bugs all that kind of stuff i don't know if they're going to reprogram the robots to find out where your trees are like if i only plant trees in these first three rows i don't really want my robot going to the other end of the field and back i guess with the higher tier robots it's not that bad because this is a lot faster moving but the first tier robot was really slow and so when he went to the other end of the field it was just not worth it at all he went so far took him so long to get back and uh, he broke all the time as well but I think they're fixing the robots now, so they don't do that anymore. Anyway, we are again now over 800, almost back to 1,000. I think if I hit 1,000 and then we sell it, I think that might actually give us enough seeds and enough money to rebirth again. And that will be 50 rebirths. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think that's a pretty good place to end the video. So let's go and try and grab a thousand. We're almost there. See, this is so close. Once you have this many rebirths and you just buy one of each tree, honestly, that's what I think is best. I haven't really tried too many versions of buying multiple of other trees, but I buy one of each tree just so I can get to the higher ones quick and I can not run around my plot too much. 
Um, that has been working just the best for me. Buying one of each tree, just harvesting from those ones. Um, it's been working really well. Anyway, we have very much over a thousand coins. So let's go over here. Let's sell. See how much we get. Because we needed another 300k, I think, to expand our field to the last one. And we have over a million coins. That's going to be enough to expand our plot to the very last area. Get that chest of rebirth coins and rebirth. So let's run all the way over here again. 324k to expand the plot one last time. Grab this chest of rebirth coins. It always contains 10 rebirth coins. There we go. I keep saying rebirth. I should say tree birth. They put all in the, all the effort in to naming everything tree birth. I'm sorry. I should say that. Anyway, let's tree birth. Another 540k to tree birth. But there we go. That is my 50th tree birth in... Uh, tree planting simulator as you guys can tell I'm really into this game at the moment I've been playing it pretty much non-stop for the last five days hence I've got 50 rebirths already and I've only played it for five days I've planted 652 trees it's a lot of trees anyway uh, I really enjoyed this video I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you guys want to go and try it out yourself I highly suggest it I'm loving this game like absolutely loving it and also it raises money for charity. So, you know, wins across the board here. Anyway, I'm going to leave my video of Tree Planting Simulator off there. I hope you guys did all enjoy. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Leave me some feedback down in the comments below as well. Don't forget to share this video with your friends as well if you have enjoyed. And subscribe if you are new so you never miss another video. Then that is it from me for now. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. So I know I have ended the video now, but uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop playing. I'm just, I'm way obsessed with this game and I'm just going to keep playing it now. Okay, bye, 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 bye.